Fall is less than a week away, and while many search the stores for pumpkins in our garden outside WLTX, we have pomegranates. Meteorologist Alex Calamia explains how to grow your own. Nothing says fall in South Carolina like pomegranates. Did you know that these trees could actually grow here? Not only can they grow here, but outside WLTX, we have our first set of pomegranate fruit. Pomegranate trees lose their leaves in the winter time and then they re-sprout in early spring. From mid-spring to early summer, these fascinating, beautiful red flowers appear. Some varieties are actually grown just for their flowers. The first year, our tree only had a couple of blooms, but the tree itself doubled in size. This past spring, it flowered all over the place. So I hand pollinated the flowers. Basically, I just rubbed the flowers against each other. And it seems like it maybe did the trick because we started to see those flowers hold on and begin to swell and produce fruit. That fruit took three months to ripen and here we are in fall. Deer like to nibble on the pomegranate trees, but the fruit itself is actually kind of protected from wildlife because it stays hard even when it's ripe. So I've managed to grow this pomegranate here in South Carolina, impressed my neighbors, impressed my friends, but how do you eat it? It's an intimidating fruit. It even has a spiky part on the top, but it's actually really easy. The edible part are the seeds on the inside and that pulp around them. So one of the things I love to do with this is use it as a healthy ice cream topping. I'm gonna to blend some frozen peaches and bananas. We have both of these growing in our garden, but obviously I got these from the store. A little bit of pumpkin spice because tis the season. And then you sprinkle the pomegranate seeds on top. So I'm a little bit disappointed because the pomegranate seeds aren't red. It's not fully ripe, but the good news is, is like I'm still gonna get that tang. I'm still going to get that crunch with this ice cream. So it's still gonna be a nice treat, but I'm probably gonna enjoy the ice cream a little bit more than the pomegranate topping this time. For News 19, I'm meteorologist Alex Calmia. Alex never ceases to amaze me. Also, can I sign up for uh, getting some of those pomegranates?